Hello there, Twitter world. It's me, yours truly. So, if this audio doesn't sound that great, I am going to redo the audio later, but let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to disassemble the PAPR unit, uh, C420. Uh, C420, I'm going to show you how to dean it. The reason why I want to dean it is because I don't want to pay $80 for the battery that actually comes for this. I don't like the AA adapter because it runs out really fast and 8 AA's is quite a lot to, uh, you know, pay for. What you're going to want to do is take off these little black dots here. So, let's get into it. Take that off. Take that out. There's six of them. They're not hard to take off. But, alright, last one, cool, there's going to be little screws in here, I know this is a flat head, but I didn't really tighten them in that tight, so it's not going to fuck it up. There is a wax seal on these uh, screws, so if you are trying to take these back to the manufacturer to get worked on, uh, you avoided your warranty, so because they know that you took the screws out when it got here. And you want to keep unscrewing it until you hear it start clicking. One more screw in. Alright. Oops. One of them fell back. Cool. Just. Unscrew it. Unscrew the battery cap. Pry these rings out. Cut all that off. Take this little rubber part off. It comes out. So, just gonna cast this off to the side here. Yeah. So, in my previous video, I said that this wasn't spinning because the hole here was rounded out. If you can see there, there is glue right there. I just uh, cracked open the base of this fan here and grabbed the fan, pulled it out, put some JB Weld in there, put it back in, closed it all up, and it works all good. It did smell like molten glue for a bit, but you know, there's that. So what you are going to want to do is get a Dremel and drill two holes so that you can route the wires through. I've already done this before, but I didn't do it with the holes. I just directly deemed to these connectors right here just to see if it would power on and work and not blow my fan up as soon as I plugged the battery into it. So since it did, I just I ran out of solder and I decided this would be a really good video to make because a lot of people would like to do this. So I need to look up uh, what is a positive wire and what is a negative wire for this. So seems like green is negative and white is positive. And I will have to go find. Oh, actually here it is. So, the sideways Dean plug is a positive, and the vertical sideways Dean plug, horizontal is positive, vertical is negative. So, now that we know that, cool. Now that I've checked that like three times, alright, you are going to need some flux because flux does help with the solder melting and bonding to the other solder. Now before we start this, I've already uh, fluxed and put solder onto the onto the wire. So let's put the flux on. All right. So you want to really like tug on this. For the next one, oh, the wire's all frayed up. Got to oh, it's not even fluxed. Look at that. Got to flux this wire.
Du. And at that point it stopped recording, but you just have to solder onto the next connector. But the next video I am going to show is the battery powering up the PAPR unit. I would suggest only using 7.4s. I haven't tried an 11.1, but I've noticed on setting 3 it does sound a bit weird and wonky. So keep it at 7.4s and you should be fine. Other than that, have fun not putting 8 AA batteries inside of your PAPR unit only to throw them away after 2 games of using it. And, uh, or paying for an $80 battery that you may or may not even find on eBay. But have fun.